Hello, this is Hades with Rod Seller. This is Rod Seller. And, like, yeah, I'm still, like, stressed after leaving Amazon. Okay. I, I, oh gosh. Just like I said in my, my Amazon rant video, if the OMs and the PAs are cool, Amazon ain't so bad. But, I had to leave Amazon because all the cool OMs and all the cool PAs, PA stands for personal assistant, OM stands for operation manager, okay? And all of the cool peeps are gone. Yes, I used to work at FAR 1. Yes, I used to do it, okay? But not anymore, okay? They got so ridiculous with the rates. So ridiculous with the micromanagement. They got so ridiculous. This one PA, I won't say any names, okay? Homie listens to music while working, okay? Which is a no-no. You're not supposed to listen to music. But he does it. But he attacks us lower associates for... Uh, you know, standing around the clock in thing a little too early, you know, when you go off a break or when you go home, he attacks us, okay? But he's listening to music while working, okay? And then I caught him sitting on tables because, you know, the, the, the thing is 10 hours long, right? And I, I, I know I showed the shoes and stuff. And I'm doing all this while I'm homeless too. Um... Showing the shoes, how they hurt my feet. They they hurt, and like I said, I don't miss it. I don't miss it, guys. I don't care. I'd rather deal with trolls, you know, trolling. Like, if I set up a stream, I'd rather deal with that than to deal with Amazon and the, and the PAs and the OMs that are so tyrannically cruel, okay? I'd rather deal with, like I said, one of my main trolls, White Knight, a.k.a. your boy Alex, uh... You know, and all his multiple. I rather do somebody like that. Hell, you know, I was, I was, I was on Brian, Brian Fritz and the the break, Blake Phil Brook. Yeah, I rather deal with Blake Phil Brook coming to get me than to deal with Amazon's trash, especially the OMs. And I, oh my gosh, guys, it is ridiculous. Yes, the horror stories are true. Yes. You don't even get that much of a break. And then, oh, if you leave 10 minutes off your um, order picker, right? You leave, they, they say, oh, you're stealing time. We got to write you up for that. Oh, you got to write you up for this. You got to write you up for that. Write you up for no gloves. When some of the PAs don't wear gloves themselves. It's just ridiculous, guys. And yes, you know what? I got I to tell y'all, um, a lot of these order picker people, they be running the stop signs in the facility. Because you're in such a rush trying to get that rate. You're in such a rush trying to get stuff done. You don't have time to stop. What they do is they'll slow down, honk their horn, and then go plow through it. Okay? Yes, there's multiple safety issues with Amazon. Multiple safety issues. And it got ridiculous, guys. I had to drop it. Because I, I was in fear of my life. Just like, um, you know, Camelot said. You know, you are safer for lions chasing you than to work for an Amazon facility. That's how bad it is, guys. We're not, I'm not making this up. I've been through it, okay? i just been through it. You do not, oh my gosh. Yeah, the OMs, oh my gosh. So stickler, micromanagement, and, and uh, I, I make better money uh, doing Instacart, right? Because, like, if I put my time into Instacart, I could actually pull in, like, two, three hundred dollars a day. Amazon only, only, only get paid, like, maybe barely a hundred and fifty a day. Just, just, and, I, and Instacart, I can work seven days a week if I want to. Amazon, I'm forced to stay, oh, 40 hours a week, but you only go work four days. Okay? And if they're shorthanded, you might get overtime. That's how it is at Amazon. Just, just wild, guys. Okay? We need, and I need, I need, like I said, we need to stop giving these companies power. 
Okay, we, we cannot let these companies get all these warehouses and destroy all the mom and pop shops. And oh, you're forced to oh, get forced to work for them, or you starve. No, we cannot let them do this to us. Okay, we cannot do that. I encourage y'all. No matter, no matter how hard it is, yeah, start your own warehouse business, start your own dropship business, do whatever it takes. I'm a, I'm a, like I said, as soon as my bankruptcy uh, gets by, I'm going to, you know, find a way, get my vending machine business back. I'm going to do things. But screw working for someone else. Just like Mike said, you want to be starting something, got to be starting something. Yeah. You know? Oh my gosh. I told you I can't get rid of Michael Jackson. I can't get rid of him. Okay. He's, he transcended physical life. Anyway. But Amazon, oh my gosh, no, don't do it. Just like I said in that last video, only do it if you haven't had work in a while, okay? That's the only time you do it. But after you get your confidence, you could do better, okay? You don't have to take the crap of the OMs, the politics of the PAs and the OMs, personal assistants and operation managers, okay? More videos are coming, guys. Right now, I'm in the final stages of my bankruptcy. That's why I haven't been doing much. And Brian Fritz is only in a distraction. Okay? Brian Fritz is a motivator not to be like him. Okay? Don't make excuses. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I lasted longer than Brian Fritz. I, I, that's, that's an accomplishment. I, I, I call it an accomplishment. You know? Even though I'm homeless, homeless only because of my credit. But don't worry. But I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. Yep. All right, guys. Rasta signed out. Have a good day. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I want to thank everybody who has been subscribing, who has been helping me out. It really does help me out. And yeah, mental fortitude. See you later.